Hi guys, it's Natalie and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to show you guys some really easy DIY Christmas gifts. These are perfect for a doll collector or even just to make for yourself or for your dolls. So I'm going to show you guys three DIYs. I'm going to show you guys how to make a miniature doll-sized tote bag. I'm also going to show you guys how to make some mini milkshakes for your doll. And then lastly, a DIY necklace. And then at the end, I'm going to show you guys some more Christmas gift ideas that are not DIYs, but that you can purchase. Aussie A, the perfume brand, sent me some perfumes. I want to show you guys at the end. And I'm also going to show you guys so many other gift ideas you can give. And I hope you guys like this video. So let's get right into it. So first, we're going to make the miniature tote bags. These are literally so cute and so miniature. So first of all, you're going to need a tote bag. You can sew one, hot glue one together. There's a ton of tutorials on YouTube. Mine are from Amazon though. You're also going to need some vinyl. I was going to use this glittery vinyl, but I just changed to a regular black vinyl and make sure it's heat transfer vinyl. I get my vinyl from Amazon. And you're also going to need a Cricut. So a Cricut machine is like a cutting machine, basically. If you don't know how to use your Cricut, I would suggest looking videos up on YouTube. That's what I did. This isn't really a Cricut tutorial because I'm not that good at using it yet. <laughs> um, but you're going to find an image and upload it to your canvas. I just found this one on Pinterest and then I made it into a PNG. And then you're going to upload that onto your mat and mirror it. And when you're ready to cut your vinyl, I just cut my piece of vinyl to the size I needed and put it face down on my mat and it should look like this. And then I just uploaded it into my Cricut following the directions. By the way, for my dial, I usually put mine on iron on because my vinyl is pretty thin. Um, and then just let the Cricut cut it for you. And then once it's done cutting, unload it. And it's very faint. I feel like you can't really see it on camera. But you should be able to very faintly see um, the lines and like the words or the image, whatever you're printing. And it should look like this. And then you're going to take your weaving tool. And you're just going to weave the design out until you're left with the letters or image that you want. So once you're finished weaving, it should look like this. And when you turn it around, like right side up, you'll like have what you're going to be ironing on. So I chose do what you love, this little quote. I just thought it was super cute and I love that quote so much. And then you're gonna center it onto your tote bag and get ready to iron it. To iron the bag, I always just take some parchment paper so that you don't burn the vinyl and just put the parchment paper on top of your vinyl and then for your iron, always make sure to turn off the steam. You don't want any steam because it can also affect the vinyl and how it comes out. And then I just go in like circular motions for usually like a minute to two minutes. And then it's usually really hot. So wait for it to cool down a bit. And then you can carefully peel the plastic very carefully. And then usually to seal it in, I just take more parchment paper on top and do it a couple times with my iron in like a circular motion. And that's it. It's so cute and literally obsessed with this bag so much. And by the way, I'm selling this on my Etsy shop. So definitely check it out. My Etsy's down below. So next we're going to be making these doll-sized milkshakes. This is a perfect gift to give to someone because who doesn't love miniature doll-sized food? So for this, you're going to need some paint. I'm using red and brown paint. You're going to need some cups. I am using these Our Generation cups because I don't really use them anymore. But if you don't just have miniature cups lying around, you can always use mini communion cups. They sell these on Amazon. And then you're also going to need stuff to decorate the milkshakes with. I'm using some different sized glitter, green, red glitter, um, white glitter. And then also you're going to need white puff paint or silicone. I'm going to be using silicone for this. So begin by taking your paint and a paintbrush and start painting the inside of the cup. You're going to want to use a lot of paint for this so that there are no like streak marks when you like look at the cup. As you can see, I used a lot of paint and I'm making a red milkshake for like a peppermint one and then using brown paint for like a hot chocolate or like a frozen hot chocolate milkshake type of situation. Once it dries, take some tissue paper or toilet paper and ball it up and stuff it into your cups because you want to be able to put your paint on top for like the whipped cream or your silicone, whatever you're using. 
I'm using silicone because I think it looks more like a whipped cream effect. And I did that off camera because it took a lot of concentration for me, but I just put a bunch of that silicone on to look like whipped cream to cover the whole top. And then you could start decorating. I put in some of these stir sticks for straws, and then I added some glitter, different types of glitter, and then also stuck in little cookies from our generation that I had. And make sure to decorate when the silicone is still drying and when it's wet so that everything can stick. And that's it, they turned out so cute and are a perfect gift idea. Lastly, we're gonna make a doll-sized necklace. So for this, you're going to need a ruler. You're also going to need some wire cutters. You can pick these up at a hardware store or jewelry store and then regular pliers. You're also going to need some chain, a lobster clasp, and then some jump rings. By the way, I'm gonna put this all in the description below. And then also a charm, and you can get all this stuff from the craft store, that's where I got mine from, or from Amazon. So begin by taking your chain and you're going to cut it. I cut mine at six inches and just cut it with your wire cutters. And now you're going to take your jump ring and open it using your pliers. This was really hard for me to show on camera, but basically you're just gonna like push the jump ring open, put it through one side of your chain and then close it. Um, and then you're also going to do that to the other side, but on the other side, you're going to also put in your lobster clasp. So this is what it should look like. Um, on one side, you're jumping through the chain with the lobster clasp and then just close that. And this is what it should look like. Two jump rings on both sides and a lobster clasp on one side. And now you're gonna take your ruler and measure it again. Mine is about six and a half inches now. And so you're gonna go to the middle of that. So mine is three and one fourth of an inch. And then you're just going to take your pliers and pick it up and then open a jump ring and put it right through there so that's like the halfway point. And while your jump ring is still open, you're gonna put your charm in. I have this cute star charm and then close the jump ring and this is what it's gonna look like. And then, you know, obviously when you close the lobster clasp, that is the necklace. So it's so cute, it's a perfect size for a doll. And I sell these necklaces on my Etsy shop if you wanna check it out, but they're super easy and fun to make. And now I'm going to show you guys some other gift ideas that are perfect for a doll collector or just for someone you want to get a, give a gift to. I feel like it's hard to come up with ideas for gifts, but here are just a couple of my ideas for you guys. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, Dossier sent me some of their perfumes to show you guys. These are, in my opinion, one of the best gift ideas you can do for the holiday season. Thank you so much, Dossier, for sending me these perfumes. When you open it, this is what the box looks like. This perfume is the Ambry Vanilla one. This I used before, and it's my absolute favorite. I get so many compliments, and it smells so good. So I like Ambry Vanilla because it's inspired by the YSL Black Opium Perfume, which is one of my favorite, like, name brand perfumes. And this is what the bottle looks like. They also are super long lasting. I've been wearing literally this scent for about three or four months and it lasted me so long. And then here's the second one I got. I got the Gourmand White Flowers scent and it's inspired by Flower Bomb. It's definitely like a sweet vanilla caramel type of scent, but it also is really floral. So if you like sweet and floral scents, this one is definitely for you. I literally love these perfumes so much. I cannot rave enough about Dossier and they're such good gifts. So thank you to Dossier for sending me these. I literally love the scents so much. The next gift idea I have are organization items, especially if you're giving something to a like AG collector. You're perfect for organizing like office supplies, craft supplies, AG items, anything like that. So you've probably seen these crates before. They're super trendy. They're like all over Pinterest. And I've been trying to find these for a while. And I know they have them on Amazon, just a little bit more expensive. I recently went to the mall and my mall just opened a Primark. If you don't know what Primark is, they have a lot of stores in like Europe. So I actually got these two crates for $2 each. On Amazon, these are like twice or even three times the price. And they're literally so cute here. You could just piece it together like this. And here's what they look like when they're all folded together. They're so easy to like collapse and put together. And literally they're just so cute. I got this pastel pink one and then this like pastel green one. You can never go wrong with art supplies. I love getting art supplies as a gift, whether it be like markers or paint or anything like that, just anything creative. And this is a perfect gift for any creative people out there. I love Arteza's paints. Their acrylic paints are amazing. And then also Arteza sells these really cute miniature easels. So you can get some of these easels for someone if they wanna 
paint. I love these canvases. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Also, make sure to check out my Etsy shop. It will be linked down below and all of the DIYs you saw today are in my Etsy shop up now. So definitely check it out and thank you guys again for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Thank you.